Welcome to the Hard Hat Training Series. Today you will learn about the setup and safe operation of mobile cranes. We will strive to provide information that will increase your knowledge and help to make you a better operator. In our highly mechanized world, cranes are the workhorses that have increased the economic growth and productivity in construction, mining, logging, maritime, production, and service facilities. It is not uncommon while driving in urban areas to see mobile cranes, tower cranes, and maritime cranes all in a short period of time, performing a wide variety of jobs. Mobile cranes are versatile machines that can be used for many job applications, from loading and unloading materials to placing those materials or personnel up to heights hundreds of feet high. Many are mounted on truck beds and can move between job sites at highway speeds carrying payloads in excess of 15,000 pounds. Mobile cranes come in all sizes, from large all-terrain cranes used to lift loads in excess of 75 tons to small capacity utility truck cranes used for lifting much smaller loads, training is needed to ensure safe operation and productivity. During this training, we will cover the anatomy of the crane and stress the importance of inspecting it each day before it is put into service. We will look at the crane's stability and the importance of understanding and using the load chart for each lift. We will discuss the safety considerations of properly setting up the crane and the importance of good communication on the job site and the hand signals for mobile cranes. We'll discuss some basic rigging principles and how to safely inspect and use lifting slings and other common lifting hardware. We will talk about lifts that are critical lifts and the additional planning that is required. We will introduce the six most common hazards associated with crane operation and how to recognize and avoid them. Upon completion of this training, you should be familiar with the types of mobile cranes used by your company, have an increased knowledge of how to set up and safely operate them, and be able to recognize the common hazards that surround their use.